right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel and do I have a video for you. Stick around, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. This is gonna be fantastic. I don't know what I'm doing. A crazy announcer guy voice. Uh, say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log and TV and Mr. Choo Choo over there and let's get started. Guys, I'm calling this Devo Knives Orama or Devo Orama. Now you know, a Devo Knives is made up of Kevin, Lefty EDC and Colin CM Knife Design, and they are putting out some crazy good knives. So I thought, and I'm going to just move this right here, I thought it would be really cool uh, to go through the knives that are in my collection from Devo. And here's the thing, guys. Besides maybe Kevin and Colin, I don't know of anybody who has all four of these Uh in their collection and can show them to you and do a video on all four of these guys right now, except for Knives Fast, KC, right here. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, guys, check out the channel. And if you're not subscribed to Lefty EDC, go check him out. But this is going to be fun. So let's just start with the first one. This is the Devo, uh, but wow, what is this called? Uh, the Devo Stout, wow. Okay, uh, losing my mind. This is the very first knife they did. So they did a bolster lock right off the bat with QSP. You've got this beautiful black micarta. Uh, it's the one that really uh, spoke to me. I wasn't a big fan of either. I mean, I liked them, but they weren't really case they get me. Uh, the, uh, the he had the carbon fiber with uh, the aluminum and the carbon fiber with the the copper. Um, but this blade shape. You know, it when I first saw it, I was like, man, not really my thing. But this is a worker, guys. This is an EDC. And look at that. I got tape on it. Tape goo. See it? Um, so, worker. This is a fantastic worker of a knife. Uh, it is wonderful for breaking down boxes. I'm going to wipe that blade, guys. That's going to drive me absolutely up the wall. It's wonderful for breaking down uh, boxes and, and cardboard. And it's just great for just about anything. Now you do have a slight belly there, not a whole lot. It's mostly straight, but then you've got, you know, the sheep's foot going on with a harpoon. But in this grip, this choked up grip, this is great. I don't need jimping. I'm locked in. It is fantastic. And so now the one that I know that pretty much nobody has uh, that is already in my collection is this guy coming out in April. So let's compare these two. Well, can't do it that way. Let's see. Let's do it this way. So there you go. The the uh, the Pony Stout here is coming out in April. Now this will be. Now this was a high end version. This was uh, like two eighty, I want to say. Um, and this guy. And that's the other reason I got the micarta because it was cheaper. Ha! Ah, because I'm a tightwad. Um, this pony stout is, as you can see, what a little over half an inch shorter here, a little over half an inch shorter here. Uh, let's just do. Oh, don't hit the. I'm I'm trying not to hit the tripod leg with with the drawer here. All right. So this guy is six and a half, and the full size stout is seven and a half. So it's a like I said, half inch on either side. And this is going to be a budget one. So not titanium like uh, the original stat. It was titanium with uh, micarta. This is going to be steel liners, I believe. Um, and this uh, the blue micarta is ridiculous. Uh, but this is going to be like $85 in April. Uh, and so you guys want to stick around for that. It's going to be a White Mountain Knives exclusive. And it's going to go quick. It just is because there's people like me out here just singing the praises. This thing, it is just a four finger knife back here, and up here it is magnificent. Uh, not not really doing a review on this. I'm gonna save my review uh, on this one until closer to the um, the pre order, uh, not the pre order, the drop of these. Um, but I just got to tell you right off the bat. This thing is a home run. Now, those two, as you can see, are awesome. Now, let's slide the stout and the pony stout back. Uh, and I'm sure you guys are already excited for the pony stout. And if you don't have a stout, you know, look at the secondary. There are no more available. There will not be another run of stouts unless it is a V2 uh, with some changes made to it. Uh, you have seen... 
the runs of stouts. So if you want a stout, you're going to have to look on the secondary. And by the way, I just want to say again on the stout, I like the stout way more than I thought I would. Now, then you have this White Mountain Knives exclusive. This is the Devo Growler. Now, you got a totally different blade shape. You've got this belly. Now, also, by the way, nothing I'm showing you is available. Isn't that terrible? Uh, these are gone at White Mountain Knives just about a week ago. They sold the last of the satins. This is stonewash. You have... Um, uh, bu, 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 what is this? Micarta. Flat scales, by the way. Uh, if I didn't tell you that, this guy was flat with some chamfers on the edge. This guy is nice and contoured. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Uh, very excited for that. This is flat scales. This was made by Shielden. There were a few, you know, here and there. By the way, this is a magnificent thumb opening knife. That's where this knife shines. Your thumb goes right in there, pops it right out. I love it. The detent on mine is fine. Uh, really nice. These were at um, White Mountain Knives and, and they sold out, uh, you know, in a month or so, I guess. Um, left and right pocket clip. Uh, not my favorite clip, but you've heard that. Uh, I don't have a lot of problem with the hole because you just position yourself correctly and it's not a problem. Uh, a lot of people said it was too big of a hole and yeah, maybe, but nah, it's fine. Um, so, uh, these were, I think 70, 75 or $80. I think, uh, they are also gone. Now, last but not least is really the king of the Devo knives. Uh, guys, it is crazy to think these uh, were a blue creek knives exclusive the devo mash both in reverse tuxedo and uh there was a satin uh version uh these went uh, lickety split that's the only way to say it they were gone in three or four minutes there were oh i don't know 250 of them or something like that this is titanium and 14C, and I want to say they were, man, I can't even remember now, 130-ish um, titanium and 14C. In this case, black wash blade. You got some great, neat milling. These are done by Kubi. Kubi killed it, did the po nice contoured scales, did the, the pocket clip with the flat screw like we're doing on the microburst, got left and right. This thing is unbelievably good it really really is um love this knife uh it is a great middle finger flicker it is a very serviceable and good thumb opener um and it's a bigger knife uh so what do you mean by bigger casey so let's put it here and let's get the stout uh so yeah it's about the same size as the stout so seven and a half inches uh, and that's really what Kevin, that's Kevin's favorite size uh, of knife. Uh, you know, I prefer, you know, eight inches would probably be my favorite, but these are fine. There's no problem. There's not really a place to choke up, but I get a great four finger grip here. Uh, and for the money, you really can't beat the beauty of this thing. Um, so there you go, guys. There are the four Devo knife uh, Devo knives in my collection. So I'm going to call this like Devo Rama Devo collection video, something I don't know. Uh, and I always change my mind about the titles. That's another weird thing, guys. Titles on a YouTube video are like utterly the most important thing there is. And I am the worst at it. So I need to hire somebody just to do, um, uh, just just to do uh, my titles for. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. But in the meantime, uh, whatever it is, is what it is. Tell you what, I'm going to put this underneath so I can kind of lean these forward a little bit so you can see them better. But there you go. Well, and of course, the stout doesn't want to stay put. Stay. Okay. So the stout, the pony stout, the growler, and the mash. Devo knives, guys. Kevin and Colin really know what they're doing with knives. Uh, and thank you, Kevin, for sending me the pony. Uh, we kind of ended up doing a little uh, swappity swap. He's got a microburst. I've got a pony stout. So really, really nicely uh, done, Kevin. I appreciate it, my friend. There's the logo where you can see it. So Devo Knives collection so far. More to come. They're going to break everybody's pocketbooks, <laughs> everybody's uh, wallets. They're just breaking them. And uh, lots to come. 
very, very excited for these four knives from Devo Knives. So what is your favorite on the table? Which ones do you have? What are you looking forward to coming forward? Personally, the barley, uh, the slip joint that will, uh, uh, their design that will be done by Urban EDC has me the most excited. The blue Shagai, Shagaya pattern, uh, however you say it. I'm very excited about that one, but he's got others coming. The, Kevin and Colin have others coming that are equally as exciting. So very, very cool. There you go, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.